Lieutenant Colonel Philip Bent, VC, was killed in action in the First World War on the 1st of October 1917 and was posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross. On the 1st of October 2017, a commemorative service was held in the Memorial Garden in Ashby de la Zouche to mark the centenary of his death and to unveil a specially engraved stone in the garden in his honour. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Fill up your power, O God, and come among us. Heal our wounds, calm our fears, and give us peace. Amen. Amen. You will know that uh, these commemorative stones, such as we are unveiling today, inscribe the name of a recipient of the Victoria Cross. They're laid to honour their bravery, to provide a lasting memorial of a local hero within his community, and to enable us to understand how our community played a part in the First World War. In a moment, Philip Bent's great-nephew and great-great-nephew will unveil our stone, but first, Ken Hillier from the Ashby Museum will read an account of Philip Bent's life and death. Philip Eric Bent was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia on the 3rd of January 1891, the son of a Canadian post office clerk and an English-born mother. After early schooling at Harrow House School in Halifax, he was enrolled at the Royal High School, Edinburgh, in October 1903. Between January 1904 and July 1907, he attended the Ashby Boys Grammar School living in the school's boarding house. In January 1909, he joined HMS Conway, where he trained to be a Merchant Navy officer. Leaving in December 1910 as a senior cadet captain Port Main, he began to serve as his apprenticeship on the Park Vimera, sailing in the Pacific, Indian and Atlantic Oceans. He gained his second mate certificate in 1914. On the outbreak of war, he enlisted in the 1st City of Edinburgh Battalion, part of the Royal Scots Lothian Regiment, but soon transferred to the Leicestershire Regiment. Attached at first to the 7th Battalion, by mid-1915 he had moved to the 9th, sailing for France in July. In 1916 he took part on the Somme battlefields, at Bézentin La Petite and at Guédecourt. Wounded in September and again in October, he was mentioned in dispatches and promoted several times, being gazetted as Acting Lieutenant Colonel on the 6th of September. Between March and June 1917, he fought with the Leicesters as the Allies attacked the Hindenburg Line and was awarded the DSO for distinguished service. In late September, British and Australian troops captured Polygon Wood, but faced strong German counterattacks. On the 1st of October, Philip Bent led a counterattack, shouting, Come on, the Tigers! Due to his initiative, the enemy were checked and his action was of essential importance for subsequent operations. However, he was killed in the charge and his body was never found. He was awarded a posthumous Victoria Cross, quote, for conspicuous bravery. Thank you, Ken. I'm now going to invite Keith Willis and Liam Willis to unveil this stone. Let us then pray that this stone will be a lasting tribute to Philip Bent's bravery and a testament to the sacrifices made by so many. God bless you.
God of past, present and future. We unveil this stone in grateful remembrance of Philip Bent. May it remind us of his brave contribution to the freedom we enjoy. Help us to honour him, not simply through this sign of outward remembrance, but also through displaying similar commitment, showing the same bravery and offering equal service. Grant then that not just a name, but everything which that name embodied will continue to live on through our life and witness to the glory of Christ our Saviour. Amen. I'm going to invite first of all Mr Tim Dunn to lay a wreath on behalf of the Friends of HMS Conway. And now Captain Tim Wilkes is going to say a few words to us. Comradeship forged in the heat of battle and then nurtured in the family of the Royal Leicestershire Regiment provides foundation for true leadership, inspiration and bravery. This is celebrated in the Royal Leicestershire Regimental Museum in Leicester. None more so than the four Victoria Crosses that the regiment has won over four centuries of service in this country. Colonel Philip Bent, your regiment salutes you. Let us remember before God and commend to his safe keeping those who have died for their country in conflict, those whom we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of humanity. They shall grow more gold and be done in this world. They each shall not be done when the years be done. At the going down of the sun and the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. <laughs> Ever-living God, 
We remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord God, who by the brightness of a star didst lead men to the Saviour of mankind, give thy grace to the Royal Anglian Regiment, that trusting in thee as our strong rock and castle, we may in unity with thee and one another rightly serve our sovereign and our native land, and at the end be led by thy mercy to thy heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Good save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save rest, to the church, the queen, the commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all God's people, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.